Hello everyone, Milo Rivera here and in this video I want to show you uh, some percussive effects um, some of the percussive effects that I use in some of my arrangements and some of my original songs like for example Oneidic Tales I want to use some passages of this song Oneidic Tales to show you this kind of hits and if you need uh, and you want to get the tablature of this uh, song uh, you can get it on my web page that is uh, riveraguitar.com so we are going to start um, one of the things that I like to do very much is this bass drum sound um, normally the bass drum not never but normally it goes with with the bass string uh, to create this effect of a bass drum uh, you know the drums you have the bass drum and normally the bass uh, goes uh, together in in many hits with the bass drum. So in this uh, song, I do something like that. Okay, so uh, you can see that at the same time that I am hitting the top here with uh, with my wrist, so to speak. Uh, I use the thumb to uh, to hit, no, to hit, to play, to pick the sixth string. Okay, um, it's very common to to hit or to pick the sixth string very hard and get the sound. It's something that could happen, and you have to work this movement. To be able to hit with strength uh, here to the top, but the picking of the thumb has to be light. Okay. It could be that sometimes I like to play uh, aggressive, and sometimes I want the guitar to to buzz a little. It's true, but you have to uh, to see this if if I need that strength because you want to make this uh, different effect or you need to play it later okay so this is one of the hits and the other hit that makes the verse of the song is the the snare drum uh, sound that uh, we can make hitting the lower strings but uh, the difficult thing here is that the hit is not in the middle of the notes, it's at the same time that some melody notes. So for example, here I'm hitting the lower strings at the same time with the middle finger, I'm hit, uh, picking the second string. I don't use B string or E string that kind of um, to, to call the, the strings. I prefer to use first, second, third because it's not in in standard tuning. So if I, if I say, for example, B a string, it's not true because this is, string is in A in this case. So I prefer to say second string to this. Okay, so this hit, uh, how I was saying, it's at the same time, so the movement is like with the wrist, you have to go up or elevate the hand and then to go down, and at the same time, at the, at the same time that I go down, I pick with the second finger, with the middle finger, the second string. So this is not easy, okay? You have to practice very much this. Okay, so this is two uh, of the main hits that are used in the verse uh, of the song, and then in the intro, for example, we have different uh, different things. Okay, more hits that I use, for example, in the intro of the song, I make something like that. I use this oriental scale, 
and then I use the bass drum. But here, what we have is uh, what I called uh, I call top, because with the nail of the middle finger I I hit the top of the guitar without any other thing. I am I'm not. Uh, uh, giving uh, hitting the strings or strumming the strings at the same time. No, it's only a top because the left hand has to do all the work of of keep the sound of the guitar. Okay, sorry. Okay. Then. We have another kind of ba bass drum. It's similar to this. Maybe here we don't have so much uh, vibration, but it's good. Okay, so. And then, it's a hit here that sounds like a bongo or something like that. This kind of hit is very important to use, so to speak, this um, the bone. <laughs> The bone of the of the fingers here, and to hit with that, not to hit with with the, this kind the this part of the finger. It's the hit is with this part. Okay, so we get that sound. Okay, and then we have uh, another part, for example, in the the bridge. Uh, one of the things that I do very much too is the slap. The slap, you can get the sound of the strings at the same time that you have a hit that sounds like a snare drum. But the complicated thing here in the slaps is that you have to mute all the strings that you want to sound. For example, here I am hitting sixth, sixth, fifth, and fourth string, but the fifth string is not going to sound because it's muting. I am muting with the left hand. Okay, so it's very important this. You can't use a slap um, um, slopely, so to speak. You have to be careful how to use your left hand or your fretting hand to put uh, your fingers in the correct position in order to let the strings that you want to sound sound and let the strings that you don't want to sound muting okay and this is another sound that i use uh, mm -hmm. and here we have another kind of bass drum the, the first second and the third and here another bongo sound, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the hits that I use in this song. I think there is no more things. If I... Yes, this, this kind of thing that I, I like to do in, in many of my arrangements and original songs is this with the nails because you have uh, you can choose different sounds if you use the nails or if you sound the tips of your fingers it's not the same sound and then with the thumb you can hit this part that is different if you use for example the nails of all your fingers okay so this is mainly what I use. Uh, I'm not sure if I will use more things, more techniques. I use more techniques, of course, but uh, harmonic techniques. But see, but if we speak about this kind of percussive effects, I think that uh, this is some of the selection that I more use. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you uh, in another video in the future. Okay, or in a gig or something like that. So, bye bye.